now in Wyoming and just kind of getting things situated. Uh, Derek will be here Saturday and today's Wednesday so tomorrow's opening day and I'm gonna hike in and uh, see what I can find and then Derek will meet up with me when he gets here. So just kind of getting things ready, shot the bow, just getting ready. It's Wyoming. I mean, this is crunch time. It's September 1st tomorrow. It's hard to believe it already, but I'm excited. After 14 days of bow hunting velvet bucks in the alpines, we had not fired a single shot. Rifle season was among us, and in the midst of our bow hunting encounters, we had spotted a giant buck to go after. When his horns were black, and he lifted his head against the sunlight, I was, it was instant. Good fight. That's a stud. That is what we are here for. sure we got a really big buck down. Hell, we're gonna go find out. Well, it's been a long three hours. Shot this buck, I mean, right at first light this morning. We uh, we saw him the 8th, today's the 16th. We first spotted him the 8th, and uh, we, uh, it was bow season. We waited for the rifle season to come after him. After three hours of feeling like I was gonna throw up and questioning all the practice and all the shooting and whether the gun was on and all that, I walked over the hill and there he was. And it's far and away easily the biggest buck I've ever shot in my life. Um, probably not out of the question to say it's the biggest deer I've ever seen alive. And I could not be more, more thankful and just absolutely excited to pack this deer nine miles back to the pickup.
Thad met Derek and I at the trailhead upon packing Derek's buck out. With Derek being called back to work, Thad and I headed back into the mountains to hopefully find giant bucks of our own. After cooking up a few grouse we got on the hike in, we were excited to see what the week would bring. After covering miles of country and putting hours behind the glass, we were getting down towards the end of our hunt and I'd finally found a buck I wanted. As I was getting worried that they were going to go around the corner and over the hill, he finally gave me a slightly quartering away shot. I don't, even, I don't even know what to say. I mean, this country is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. <sighs> Shot me a stud of a buck down there. I've been hunting for, oh man, a whole month, damn near. It's, uh, it's September 26th. I've been in here since September 1st. Started with archery. And then uh, Derek shot shot his buck, and uh, I finally got this one ten days later, and it's been rough. So we were just packing my buck out and this morning when we took off, that actually stayed here and, and glassed this whole ridge line behind me. And I went up and checked a couple other ridges where I shot my buck. Well, that heard me shoot. So he went up and helped me take care of my deer. And we packed it back down to where Thad was sitting. And uh, found, a bu found the buck that Thad had found this morning, bedded up on that ridge line over there. And Thad just made an amazing shot on him. And uh, he's down up there. It's, it's probably gonna be dark by the time we get there. So it won't be 
you know, the best of recovery footage, but he's a, he's a stud buck, awesome buck. Big, huge bodied buck here. We thought he was a different deer, but he's gonna work. We figured we'd find him tonight, and he was already out feeding. You can't see it now, but Cross Canyon, long ways. Gotta love it. Now the work begins.